First, we are seeing a paper crafting movement that is literally jumping off the page. Three-dimensional paper projects are so much more than a folded favor box. They are a tabletop accessory with size, layers, patterns, and incredible detail. Jana Eubank is a project designer in the paper crafting industry. Her projects are featured in companies like, oh, Echo Park, Paper, American Crafts, Silhouette, and Simple Stories. And she really is leading out with her 3D designs. It's so great to have you. Thanks for being here. Thank you. We've had our eye on you for a while because truly, in this world, of 3D paper crafting, you are leading out. You seem to be ahead of the game with all of your designs. What do you love about it, 3D paper crafting? You know, I love 3D paper crafting because it's, first of all, it's so fun. They're just, it's like a puzzle and a dollhouse mixed together. You get to <laughs> have fun putting it together well, and the then just the insane. details. Yeah. Like we could just sit and stare at all of these. What kind of hour commitment, what kind of time are you putting into these projects? It depends on the project. Usually I'll spend an hour or two. Sometimes the bigger projects, I'll, I'll go three or five hours. They're just fun to dive into and have have, have fun. <laughs> I have to imagine it's one of those projects where the detail starts to become almost an addiction. Like how can I yes. even make this better or more detailed? A couple of my favorites that you've done the past few months that have jumped out. Can we take a look at these? You bet. Um, the mixer. You did this kitchen mixer that was just yes. amazing. Talk to us about that. Okay, so I created this paper mixer and it was so fun. You just start with cardstock and the designer of the cut file actually made it so it tilted back and forth. So you could put a tree in the bowl, the mixing bowl, and then have a, another goodie stuck inside. It was just really fun to put together. I mean, that's a centerpiece. That's yeah. an art piece. And then my all-time favorite, I have to say, was the sewing machine. The sewing machine. So yeah. cute. <laughs> That was fun. It's The great thing about these is all of them are gift boxes. So you can not only use them as decor, but you can use them as, as part of the gift to whoever you're giving them to. Customize them for the person. And you mentioned the cut files. Do you have yes. to have a digital die cutter to pull these off, Jenna? No, you can, you can actually search for templates online for all different kinds of um, shapes, but I actually use the Silhouette Cameo. I love it because it makes it easy. It right. get, it's past the scissors and, and it can get really into the fine details and I can do things with it that I wouldn't be able to do scissors. So you push a button and it just prints out all of those little detailed pieces for right. you. Yep. But you could pull off on a more simple scale something with just a template. For sure. Yes. Can we get into some of these creations? Yes, let's do You've it. done something fun. You've taken a seasonal project, so in this case a Halloween project, but also given it a Christmas spin. Can we start with this? Yes. Oh my yeah. gosh, I've been staring at this all morning. It's oh, insane. Yes, yeah, so this is a, a, a cut file by SVG Cuts and it's meant to be a Halloween house, which we've decorated it as here. Uh -huh. And then I did it also in a Christmas version. So our Halloween house house has all the pattern paper and fun goodies and then here on the Christmas version we've done just cardstock we've we've used embossing folders to give the roof some detail and the the boards on the side and then I just of course went crazy with the um, Christmas lights oh and the gosh. wreaths on the door and the little mat in front the of the glitter, door. The mat, is that cork? <laughs> yep, it's cork. The little welcome mat there. And really, you look at this roof and it does look like a structure, but it started out as just a flat piece of paper then. Yes, so you just cut out all the pieces and it's really, you're just putting glue to uh, on the tabs and just gluing it together. So it looks complicated, uh -huh. but really you're just building each little component and then you're grouping them together in a final project. So it's not that hard. As we look at the Halloween version, I mean the ghosts and the bats, the effect of those just kind of literally springing out. That's fun. How did you attach that wire? So the wire, I just used a little bit of hot glue and then I poked a hole through the roof and then used a bit of tape to just secure it in place. And I mean, all the pattern, I'm, I couldn't even count how much, you know, pattern and, and paper play you have going on here. That's part of the fun, isn't it? Is mixing and matching those yes, colors. So fun. Oh. Yeah. So this is fun for like a centerpiece or a gift box, or we've got a little light inside. So at night it lights up. It's really fun. Yeah. This is amazing. All right. Jumping over to my right hand shoulder, this bird cage, again, that incredible detail, but here you've kind of like folded and there's a bend to it that I think, the movement that I really like. Right. Yeah. So we've, we've added some paper flowers to just really dress it up and that one could be fun for Christmas as well. You could put a candle inside and do big red poinsettias on it, or you could even make it into a, you know, a wedding shower centerpiece. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The pirate ship, tell us about the pirate ship. The pirate ship is, is by a company called Creative Cuts, this cut file, and this one's a really fun company because not only do they give you the digital cut files, but they also give you a PDF um, file so you can cut it out with scissors. Okay, all right, the jute there, the twine is kind of a fun detail too that links the centerpiece to the actual structure. Yeah, yeah, so that's fun just to, that's what I love doing is thinking how would this look in real life? Yeah. You know, and adding those kinds of details. Can I turn it? Yeah, you look bet. At this little, this little steering wheel there. <laughs> 
Is that what it's called on a pirate ship? A steering wheel? I don't know. There I it don't is. Know. <laughs> there it is. It's cute. We love it. Thank All right, you. down front, these are gift boxes. Yeah, so this is, this is just your basic milk carton shape. And here we've done them with just some pattern paper and lots of fun embellishments. These are by American Crafts. And then the Christmas version, we've just done cardstock and then added lots of embellishments and um, glitter just to give it that wintry feel. So don't, look, don't feel like you can't use a basic cut file to do something really neat. Is this a case where more is more is more? I mean, yes. I look at the drippings and kind of the ribbon, the way it fall, is just falling Isn't off. Isn't that how Halloween Christmas is? It's just twinkly yeah. and fun and gobs of stuff, Bring right? Bring it on. <laughs> is there a paper weight, Jana, that's best for these types of folds and projects? Yes, I would go with cardstock. Okay. Or, um, it just gives it some body. And um, well, if you if you put treats inside, then it's not going to um, cause a problem. These would also be really fun uh, as ornaments oh, on a yeah. tree. So, you know, it would be a fun project for kids to do with grandma and grandpa or that was maybe an activity at church. Or As I was pulling out <laughs> Halloween decor this year, I kind of was peeking over at the Christmas stash in the corner of the storage room, and I thought, I want more handmade touches right. to, my, to my holiday decor this year. So that's a perfect yeah, and way those to bring are it in. making the memories, right? Absolutely. Doing those kinds Absolutely. of things together. Here, a witch's boot becomes Mrs. Claus's shoe. Yes. So this would be fun to give to your girlfriends or maybe a teacher, maybe pile some. If you love to bake, you can put a stack of cookies in there or some lotion or something like that. It's just a fun little girly gift. Look <laughs> at the laces and the pom-pom trim. Okay, let's keep going. This is so fun. What did you do here? Okay, so this is, this is uh, just a, tr a treat tote. We've got some pumpkin bread inside and you can also put like muffins. But here we've got, we just decorated the front with some manual die cuts and some more uh, uh, stickers and die cuts. These are by Echo Park Paper. And then this cute Christmas one out front is by American Crafts. I love it. I love the snowflake pattern paper too. That's cute. Thank and you, you are using all sorts of media. You mentioned the stickers. We've talked about the twine and the jute and the ribbon. That adds to it, right? Those layers. Yes. Add the add the dimensional details. That's actually what will push your project to the next level is getting, you know, of course you want the paper and the stickers and the die cuts, yeah. but look for buttons and sequins and things that will add dimension to your project. All of ribbons. the extras. Mm -hmm. And guess what? If this lands on someone's doorstep, I feel like the packaging is the present. I, know. I mean, the bread inside is a bonus, but that actual tote box right? itself is Sit the gift. Out for a while and yeah. just enjoy it. <laughs> All right, we're told it's World Series season. Jen and I are a little out of touch with that. Don't ask us who's playing, but the, the baseball popcorn theme is cute. Thanks. Tell yes. us how you pulled this one together. Okay, so popcorn, I love giving popcorn to people. This is actually fits a whole entire bowl of popcorn in this bag, so it's a fun neighbor gift to give to someone. Yeah. And also, you know, I think... What, what what's more fun than a movie night you know have right. the friends have the ki grandkids come over have your friends come over have the teens come over and make a fun batch of popcorn and then each one has their own really customized container and no one's fighting over who got more right <laughs> to each their own can you show yeah. us how to pull that off really sure, fast you bet. so here are the pieces that we have right here and um there this one i've already glued and then okay. this this just glues right on top okay and was this two individual? Yes, right. So layered. On yeah, top. so it's just two sheets of well, four sheets of paper. You got, got two of the stripe and then two of the orange. Okay. And you adhere that together, and then you really just add add them together with the adhesive. Adhesive is important in this in this case because you want something that's going to hold, and especially if you're putting something inside. Yeah, so, we're loading it with popcorn, yeah. so it's got to hold its weight. Yeah, the hot glue is great. Liquid glue is really good, especially you want to get up into those seams and make sure it gives a, a good firm hold, and okay. um, yeah, it's, it's really fun. And just folds together like so, and the tape just brings it all the way around. Yep, and then you can add your embellishments and you are good to go. Two-sided paper becomes your friend, yes. right? With a project yes, like this. Yes, because you got all the cute stuff on the inside as well. Oh my gosh, <laughs> darling, such great inspiration. Thank you so Thank much. You. We appreciate it. Me. To see more of Jana's work, you can find her on Instagram, Facebook, or at JanaEubank.com. Look for those file cuts on our website. We'll link you over at studio5.kc.